Hey everyone, Will here from Mature Mighty Gamers, and today we're we'll be taking a look at a game from Van Ryder Games called Final Girl Season 2. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Kickstarter page and we'll talk more about it. In 2020, Van Ryder Games launched a Kickstarter that sent boring, outdated solo gaming to the grave. Thrusting the gamer into the shoes of a resourceful heroine, Final Girl redefined the genre and brought horror to your gaming table in a whole new way. Matching wits with demented killers, each Final Girl will need to use her brains and brawn to save the helpless find useful weapons, and ultimately to outlast the killer. Now, a new series of terror is upon us. Screening only on Kickstarter, Final Girl Series 2 adds five all-new feature films to your Final Girl collection. Inject fresh blood into your games with new killers and new locations and meet a new batch of final girls, ready to face their fears, unlock their unique abilities, and find a way to survive the night. Final Girl, Series 2, on Kickstarter now. All right, so that was actually a pretty awesome video. So this game is from Van Ryder Games. Um, they have raised almost $1.3 million on uh, almost 7,500 backers. So that's actually pretty good with 14 days to go. Um, I got to say, I really, really love the art. I love the idea for this game. We're going to be taking these modular systems and putting them to get everything together and playing a unique game. Now, the one thing that kind of concerns me with this game is it is a solo experience completely. Um, you know, with COVID and everything and people not really be able to get together to play with their gaming group. Um, I, I can see this being a draw for a lot of people. Now, solo games aren't typically ones that you see raise this kind of money, but this game obviously has to be pretty darn good if a lot of people are picking it up. And I got to say, they're doing quite well. Their first the season one of this, which has been coming out and getting a lot of good reviews, um, they raised almost $500,000 for their first edition of this. Now they're coming out with this, which is going to add more Final Girls and more scenarios. So let's take a look at the Kickstarter page here and see what you're getting in with the uh, the whole set. So here's the pretty much not everything in this Kickstarter necessarily, but everything that has kind of been released for the game so far. Um, so there's a lot of things like you've got the placemat here. You've got all these different uh, scenarios. And you've got the core boxes, the storage boxes. You've got your core boxes over here, some books, some miniatures. So there's a lot. If you go like with everything on this game, not only is it going to be, honestly, a pretty penny, but at the same time, you're going to have a lot, a lot of gameplay here. Now, is the gameplay great enough to say, you know, I'm going to play this game and, you know, oh, I want to throw this together and try this scenario. Are you really kind of just doing the same thing with just a different end game in mind? If so, like, what's what's that solo experience to the point where, like, man, I really got to try this next one. I really want to push the next one. I, I would really love love and like to try this game and actually do a full review of it. Fortunately, I don't have a copy, and I'm, I'm considering backing it, but we'll talk about the pledge levels and the price tag here in just a few minutes. Um, so the feature file system, again, we pull out all the stops and invent a new and innovative feature film system for Final Girl. So what's cool about this is each of these scenario packs or feature films have a different uh, location, sometimes two, and a different, uh, you know, bad big bad for it. But they also come with these fantastic plastic inserts from everything that I've watched and looked, and especially on this Kickstarter page, where everything is, like, individualized and uh, storage is fantastic. Now, the only game that I can really say that does that that does that kind of thing and it does it really well I, I you know i don't know the scope of this but it's dice throne so dice throne i mean their storage system is fantastic so you want to play with a character you just pull out the box pull out the insert you're good to go um and i really like this idea of everything being easy setup and easy teardown so that's fantastic 
So there's 10 feature films right now, and that's over 100 combinations, which is great. You've got a core box here, which you get a lot. Basically, with a core box, you're going to get all of the components to play. Now, without the core box, you really got nothing. You've got to have the core box for the action cards, the player board, the rule book. And then the feature films kind of like just plug into um, the actual core box itself to actually then do the scenario. So it's got a lot of uh, a lot of great ideas that you, you have this core, which is going to really get you the base game. And then you've got the different events or scenarios could be very similar to like i guess modules for you know like dungeons and dragons or whatever so <clears throat> being able to play different events and and uh, ideas so let's go into real quick we'll talk about the feature films that are coming out with season two we got uh, volmorph which is going to be location uscss patna we've got characters ellen and jeanette lots of cards that you get in each of these now, if you also in the location and killer cards down here at the bottom, you're going to notice that this also does come with some miniatures. Now, these are do not come with the feature film. These are actually optional add ons you have to do. We'll talk about that with the price point later in a minute. You've got the organism station 2891. You've got Kate and Yuki. Now, this obviously you kind of see, OK, this is aliens, right? And then down here, this is the thing, right? And then down in this one, the intruders, I've got the wing or cottage now. I'll be quite honest. I have no idea what uh, scary movie this one's going off of or what trope. Um, if you know someone can kind of give me an idea in the comments below, that'd be great because uh, I'm not familiar with which one this would be. Maybe it was a called House of a Thousand Corpses or something. I, I absolutely have no idea. So uh, give me an idea of what that one would be. Um, so again, more cards, more more meeples, more tokens, more location boards, and then you've got some again optional miniatures. Uh, and then down here, they've got the Big Bad Wolf, the Storybook Woods, Full Moon. All right, again, more cards. You've got Red and Gretel, so I guess more of a take on the you know, old, um, was it Fables and stuff like that. So I, well, I can't, well, I can't think of the name of the of the guy that or the the names of those kind of stories, but basically old fables and everything, old story, children's stories. And then again, you got the miniatures. Then here we've got the Ratchet Lady, the Wolf Asylum, and then you've got Heather and Veronica. More cards, miniatures are revealed soon. And then you also have the, the information here for the Series 1 films, The Haunting of Greech Manor, The Happy Trails Horror, The Slaughter in the Groves, The Carnage of the Carnival, and Frightmare on Maple Lane. So again, five here, five for the new, brings total to ten. Got a whole slew of stretch goals already unlocked. When they hit 100,000, they... Uh, funded their project. You've got a Hero Track miniature. Which this looks actually pretty cool. You got the Jason mask, which looks like a machete going through it. You've got an epic finale pack, uh, one epic finale card for each season two feature film. Secret envelopes, the secret envelopes you know and love are back. I don't know what those are. Deluxe final health tokens, probably more plastic. That's cool. Lauren scenario book, the popular Lauren scenario book returns for season two. That'd be great to be able to actually have Lauren scenarios for when you're doing these different events. And you've got the rule book and feature film rule book and achievements season two. You've got a bloodlust token, blood splatter. That's pretty cool. Uh, new vignette, terror from the grave for, for breaking our previous record. Everyone gets a new vignette. Ah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then custom storage box artwork. Love it. Epic finale pack. You've got for season one. Okay, cool. They kind of added and added a little bit more for season one. Well, if you've already got season one, and they just unlocked this for those. I wonder, I bet you could probably just buy those those finale packs, but I'm not sure because wouldn't you want those for that? You got achievements for season one. You got the desperation dies, five signature action cards, new VCR game map, box art. That's pretty cool. Uh, gruesome deaths. The gruesome deaths are back. They're digital download offer at a later date. Okay. Uh, make your own an online tool to create whatever item you can think of. That's pretty cool. I like the idea of making your own cards, especially if it's a solo game. It's your game anyway. So five more five more signature action cards or unique signature moves that your front row can use. And then you got some promos and a booklet of desperate deaths coming later. So 1.3 and 1.35. And again, they're they're on track for this. So 14 days still to go. So a quick rundown on gameplay. You're going to take your actions. You're going to play cards and move, rest, attack, or search. And then you're going to search for items, help you defeat the killer. Save enough victims to unlock your special final girl ability. Purchase new cards, killer attacks, and it's killer be killed. So you got the rule book available to check out right here uh, on the Kickstarter page, which is pretty cool. You've got a map 
or Matt said, I do like it when games feature neoprene. I'm a, I'm a sucker for getting the neoprenes. Uh, when a game does offer those, I, I always have a tendency to pick those up when I do back a game. So here we go. The miniatures they talked about for Station 2891, USS Padna, Wing Guard, Storybook, Wolf Asylum. You got some vehicle miniatures. Those actually look pretty cool. The storage book, the storage box art that they talked about a little bit ago for Season 1 and Season 2. Uh, being able to store in Kalax, which is going to be important. Notice that the five... Uh, feature films go right in the box, and then the core will go right on top, and then everything seals up there. Oh, it's not a core. That's a game map box. I am so sorry. That's looks like that should be actually where the core goes. Ah, so the – okay, I, I missed it there. The core box is on the right, the right side, and then the game map box. Okay. I like the fact that you're going to have a storage solution for your game mat. That's actually really cool. Man, I, I tell you what, I've got so many mats that are just rolled up sitting in tubes in a corner – I mean, actually putting it in the storage solution. That's actually pretty awesome. Cast and crew box. Girl miniatures need more space rather than being stored in the core box. So each storage box will include a cast and crew box and insert that will hold the miniature. That's nice. I mean, instead of having thousands of boxes all over the place, everything's going to just fit right in the Kalax. Bonus features box. will hold these items that don't have a great place otherwise, like the Lord scenario books. That's fantastic. But well, again... Yep, so one, two, three, four, five. You've got the cast and crew, you've got the, the feature box, and then you've got the core box, and then the game map box. Everything is going to fit in this large, large storage solution. That is absolutely amazing. You know, I love these big box games, and I love when you have all these add-ons. But you've got games, man. I've got, like, Nemesis, and sitting over here is Lords of Hellas. And there's boxes upon boxes upon boxes of just stuff, right? And... I, I don't know where to store it or how to keep it. Do I throw away the old boxes? I mean, how do I put it all back in the box after I've opened it and played it? And the fact that everything is going to fit right in the storage solution is absolutely amazing. And it fits right into a Kalax, which I, I can't say how much highly I appreciate those Kalax boxes. But all right, so let's go into the, the pledge levels. You got an a la carte for 20 bucks. You can get a feature film. You got a film to view new to the game with a core box and a feature film for 40 bucks. Not a bad way to get into it. Yeah, season two feature film does not include the core game, but it does include all five feature two films. That's what does it say? I can barely read it. Ninety dollars. Okay, so quite a big jump from forty to ninety, uh, but you do save ten dollars by getting all five. Season one franchise for one hundred and sixty dollars. Looks like you're going to get everything from the season one, um, season two items and season one optional add-ons, including the season one mystery box and the season one gruesome books, must be added separately. So a couple things that you don't get. Season 2 franchise, same thing. Add-ons, including the Season 1 storage box and other items must be added separately. That's 160 bucks for each of them. Series 2 collector booster. Um, so again, this is not clear the core box. So it looks like you're going to be getting both of the mats, though, and the miniatures. So that's cool. Gameplay all in. This is your, basically all the actual gameplay. No add-ons. Full franchise. This is includes everything except for Season 1, Season 2 mystery boxes. Paula promo card and season one gruesome death books. Uh, mystery. I don't even know what's in the mystery boxes. That's why they're a mystery, I guess. Epic all in add on $330 for pretty much everything that final girl has out. So, I mean, still, this is a lot cheaper. And we recently uh, posted a video and, and recently live was the Marvel zombie game from when you're not. And that thing was 400 and some odd dollars for, for everything. And that had a lot of plastic, a lot of tokens, a lot of cards. I mean, this is $330. I mean, yeah, is there a lot of gameplay here for one person? You know, how much more gameplay are you going to get out of this game playing by yourself versus playing with, with, you know, some friends hanging around on the table? And, you know, I know the price, obviously, of, of the storage solutions and all the cards and everything. And, and, you know, costs are going up and it's also about volume, making more volume. You can sell for a little bit cheaper because you're the number outweighs for the for the, uh, the margins. But that's still a lot of money for a solo game. Yeah, you've got a lot of variation though, over 100 different unique scenarios. But again, I would just wonder how many times am I going to actually bust this game out as a solo experience versus how many times would I bust out the like Marvel Zombies, for example. Price per play. I got to say, I, I don't know. I don't know. You really got to weigh out your options. Right? I'm a more of a solo gamer. Is that what I'm really playing now? Or am I going to be playing with my with my friends? So I don't know if this is really what I would do the Epic All In. I think if I if I get into this game, what I would probably do, 
I'd probably just do the gameplay all in just because I really don't need all these other things. Yeah, the storage solutions would be nice, but at the same time, I mean, you're looking at $90 more. I, I don't know. It's a tough call. And you've got all the add-ons. So like if there's anything specific yet, you want 20 bucks for a core box, 20 bucks for a feature film. You got 20 bucks for the season one miniatures, $20 for season two miniatures, the vehicle packs for both the lore book, the mystery box, the mystery box, the death books, the storage box. I mean, everything. Again, you're just trickling it up there in cost. Now, none of these really are that astronomical on price, 25, 25, 25, 10. Not actually not, uh, astronomical added individually. It's just more of like, man, there's just so much that is getting tacked on here. And I, again, I got to wonder what what's the value there, so... Shipping doesn't seem to be too bad uh, for the U.S. anyway. You're looking at, what, 15 bucks. It doesn't actually go into a breakdown if you are... Oh, there it is. I can see it now. So 15 for the feature film, all the way up to 40 bucks for the full franchise with the Epic All-In. So not that bad when, it, when you think about how much stuff is here. I mean, those are some big boxes, especially when you're going to be looking at these storage solutions. So... All right. I, again, I don't know if I'm going to be back in this. I'd really like to hear you guys' thoughts if this is going to be something in a lot of videos down here at the bottom as well. But I'd really like to hear you guys' thoughts if this is something you're going to be backing and why. Are you a solo gamer? Is this something that you are going to be able to play and bust out? You really think you bust it out that often? And what's the value per play? So I'd love to hear your thoughts on season one as well. But all right, everybody, this has been Will from Mature Minded Gamer. Talk to you about Final Girl Season 2 from Van Rider Games. We'd really love to get your feedback uh, and uh, thoughts. So join us on our Discord. Leave a comment in the section below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see all of our other great content on MatureMindedGamers.com. So until next time, everyone stay safe and take care.